for this tutorial we will be removing thermal paste from the CPU after the heatsink has been removed. We will also be removing the thermal paste from the heatsink. Alright, here's the items you'll need. You'll need rubbing alcohol. Usually it's recommended to have as pure as possible. I have 70%. It works for me. And you're going to need some coffee filters. Not, not too much. Okay, here we go. First, you're going to have to... This is what I like to do. I like to fold the coffee filter in half. Like so. And then just dab it on the, the tip right here. So it's moistened. Now we can clear off the CPU. Just rub it around a little bit, fold it over, rub it, try to get the majority of the thermal paste off. If there's some on the sides, which there are, you can use Q tips. Not a big deal. Got some off. Alright, now that the majority of the thermal paste is off, we're going to use another heat, another, a, uh, another coffee filter. To get the rest off, I like to fold it a lot so it's pretty thick. Get some more on there. Try not to get as much as the first time because you won't need it. Okay, here we go. Just keep wiping until the coffee filter comes out clean. Alright, now for the heatsink. This one might be a little trickier because you have to get in the grooves of the heatsink. But it's pretty much the same principle. Once again, coffee filters and rubbing alcohol. Alright, let's get coffee filter ready. Rip that one. Whoops. Uh, once again, fold in half. Just a little tip it. It's ready. Okay. Now, let's grab the heat sink and just start rubbing it, getting it wet. Soften up the partially hardened thermal paste. Fold over as needed. Once it starts getting cloudy on the. Yeah, on the coffee filter. Keep rubbing. See, it's still coming out pretty dirty. Gotta get in those cracks. Fold over, fold over. Now you got a pretty small piece. Probably want to reapply some rubbing alcohol. There you go. Get in the cracks. Still coming out quite dirty. I need another coffee filter. This doesn't finish it off. Yep. I grab another coffee filter. Fold. Dab. You know the drill. By now. Okay. Rub. It's starting to come out pretty clean. Fold, rub, make sure you try around here 
Sometimes it likes to hang out in these areas around here. I want to get that off just to make sure it's clean so it doesn't drip on your motherboard, which is possible, which wouldn't be good. <clears throat> Keep folding. Dab it. Whoa. Try not to drop your heat sink on the table. Shouldn't do much. But try to avoid it. And soon enough, you will have a nice, clear heat sink.